Well, it is time to redecorate your kids' room, and Orly Shandy is going to show us how to make a DIY grandfather clock kids' room mural. This is awesome. It's really cute. Orly, Orly, Orly. How did you find the time? No. I mean, uh, <laughs> yep. It never Just, ends, ladies and gentlemen. It seems a little out of my wheelhouse, and that's because it is. Yeah, this yeah. is from the amazing creative brain that is one Dave Lowe. That is Dave Lowe. Now, I am bringing this to life for him, and he's sort of taught me. It's really cool and a really sweet idea. And so together we kind of made this thing happen, and it's, it's really fun. And there's a lot of ways that you can do it, and you can bring in your own personal style. You can bring in the style of your home so that it fits, depending on colors and, and materials that you use. But it's, I mean, it's crazy easy, and it's a blast. Super, and, super easy. All yeah. right, well, let's see. We got started earlier yeah well first I'm going to show you just real quick um th this is contact paper because that's what we're going to when we go oh, into the pre-tape okay. on what I did we're working with contact paper um we've used that a little bit on the show so if you've seen us use it you know how it comes it's on a roll and they've got all different colors and hues they even have really deep dark woods if those are the oh, color yeah. woods you have in your house um but we put this on the wall and that's the very first step so take a look <laughs> I did the music <laughs> So I measured it down from um, the molding on the top and we went about 18 inches down, which was about six feet off of the floor. Next thing, I took a leveler just to create a nice even line so that when I applied the top of my contact paper, it would be a straight column down yeah. and not, you know, off to one side. So you peel back just about an inch to give yourself a nice smooth place to start and then you work your way down in little slow pieces. Now, what I can tell you that I learned is as I was first doing it, the first six inches took me like five minutes and then the rest of it was like Just in two seconds. Oh, oh really? It, getting the very top of it smooth was a little bit difficult and then once it's on, it all moves really evenly oh, down. So be patient. Yep, <laughs> exactly. I went all the way down to the molding and, <laughs> and that's my da-da. <laughs> um, so it goes all the way down to the molding and then you just cut it. And so one thing to consider is that you want it this is 20 inch wide contact paper you want to get contact paper that's about the width that you want otherwise it's a whole nother step oh, of cutting and trying to make it, it yeah just mm -hmm. like eh, save yourself the time so just buy 20 inch wide because that's a, that's about right now the next thing that you're going to do is create all of your texture and your shapes what a, a grandfather clock normally looks like this exact pattern here Dave Lowe is so awesome he's going to upload this onto the website so you could oh, download right. this whole thing right. these are all the pieces that you need I know, he's he like, gives I mean, he's like, whatever. Yeah. I feel like I should start taking credit for some of this instead of giving it all. Um, this was all, yeah, so he has this up there, which is great. So then the next thing you do is you're going to use your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut all of these shapes out, okay. which is what we have down here. Beautiful. So you've got all of your shapes and you're going to cover them with contact paper. Now, there's one thing I want to show you when doing that. This is like a little sample piece. So your contact paper has a protective backing. You're just going to peel that right off. It's really nice. It won't roll up on you. What's it mm -hmm. protecting? Because we have superheroes here that can oh, do she, a right. she could, she could I, laser I am beam. This, this is yep, me. Yep, Energy yep. force yeah. flatten. Like, got, got it this. covered. Got it covered. So the next thing you're going to do, I, I mean, I previously cut that piece so that mm -hmm. I had about an inch around, right? Yeah. So now I lay it right in the center. And it's kind of like wrapping a present. Now, when you're dealing with curved edges, this is really the only part that I want to make sure I really show you. It's very much like sewing, which is, you know, the one area in which I am in my wheelhouse. You're gonna snip just like this when you go around a sleeve. Now when you're sewing and you're doing a sleeve, you have to cut these little like notches mm -hmm. and they allow the sleeve to go oh, in. So is cool. this, and is this forgiving? Once it's on, it's on. You're Once not it's on, on, and on and Oh, the contact it? paper? Yeah. Right on here. these? Yeah. yeah, I mean, no, you can finagle it. If you've screwed it up, you can peel it yeah. back oh, off oh, and okay. fix it. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, but then once it's on, it's on. So you guys can, you know, you want to make nice crisp edges. And basically, this is what we're going to do to all of our pieces. And you're going to cut off any little edges that you have. You just cut those off with your scissor. It's not going to ruin your scissors. OK, so that's your basic okay. applying. Now, all of these pieces are done here. So we just put, this is like a carpet. Um, like a wig like a tape. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> like a wig tape? Wig tape. Like a wig tape. <laughs> Do you know, honestly, I'm not kidding, they use this um, in wardrobe, yeah. like Jennifer Lopez, yeah. when she wore that dress to the Oscars, remember that dress? Oh my it God. this tape. Who it doesn't, doesn't mop that until dress. you get I was shower. Say, that is like super glue. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to get it off with <laughs> yeah. soap. Yeah. So we're gonna move over to the wall. Now, this is the, the paper that we put, right? So this is our base, and we've already applied some of these, but I'm just gonna show you the top. So what you wanna do is you wanna apply your tape into the area that it's gonna actually apply to the contact paper as opposed to the wall. So utilize the fact that this is a surface that's going to come off and make sure that everything sticks right onto that paper just in case. All right. So now you pop that sucker on. I'm actually going to use Are these two little one? guys 
first. She just oh, they're already sticking. Got, yeah. got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job. It's a superhero. So now right. we put these little safe. guys on. Do you? Yeah. You should. Yeah. Okay, this now is great Debbie for kids go. too because they can do it with you. Exactly. You know, and that's the thing is a lot of the fun is like this part, right? So you let them peel it. Now you let them stick it. If they don't stick it perfectly, you just fix it later. Like yeah. this is a fun, a fun thing where they can feel like they've built this big, huge focal piece in their room. And yeah, but now? speaking of, what if you do want to take it down at some point? Is it going to mess up the, your wall? Yeah. No, the contact paper will peel right off. Oh, that's great. It's amazing. It's contact like paper head. is such a, yeah, it's like a fat head, exactly. Yeah. They're really cool. So we're going to use, these are little wood decals that you can buy, and they look really cool. They give a lot of character. We spray painted these with kind of like a brass deep color there, which is really fun. And now, the final, mm. ta-da. We just hooked this Quick, up. we're running out of time. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and Oh. You're not even getting a similar It's really, really cute. Do we, do we not have the father time? Do we not have the The oh. pendulum? Swinging pendulum? No, we need right. to have that, well, that And actually, can I tell you that we were discussing there, there you go. whether or not to do it, and Dave had a really cool idea. You could even take a little paper bowl, mm -hmm. like a small mm -hmm. paper bowl that you'd have yeah. at a party, and spray paint it that copper color with like a little wood dowel oh and gosh. hang it. Like That's there's perfect. a the detail so smart. is the details in these things, it's entirely up to you how creative you want to get and keep building it and building That's it and building it. But it's really I sweet and, and it focuses on the main clock right there. How much would something like this cost? $30. That's really? $30 is so much great. fun. It's an afternoon of fun.